Hello and welcome to Progress Diary, your authentic source of information about the All Progressives Congress and the leadership of Dr. Abdullah Ganduje. I am Habida Lawal. You are welcome. The Progressives Congress is enjoying a newfound tranquility after Dr. Abdullah Ganduje assumed the position of National Chairman of Nigeria's Governing Party. But the national chairman of the APC is not a stranger to politics. As a former two-term governor and one of the founding members of the party, formed out of a merger of opposition political parties in 2013. President Bola Tinubu also seems to strongly believe in the capacity of Abdullah Ganduje to steer the affairs of the party, to consolidate on the victory of the party at the 2023 presidential election. The emergence of Abdullah Ganduje as national chairman and Senator Ajibola Bashiru also got the backing of the National Executive Council of the party and all stakeholders. Mr. President, Commander in Chief, President Bola Amitunu Giseva, Vice President, Senator Kaiser Chetima Giseon, the Senate President, Congratulate Mr. President 
on his election as chairman of the ECOWAS Regional Grouping. We, we acknowledge this as a foreign policy triumph for Nigeria and the beginning of the repositioning of the country towards taking her rightful place in the affairs of our region and continental politics. Mr. President, I am sure I will be speaking the mind of the entire men if I say that the nation is happy with you. Under your, exception, under your exceptional leadership, we have witnessed bold, ambitious, and courageous decisions that have propelled our nation forward. The policies your administration, our administration, has pursued in the span of just two months have been instrumental in shaping the narrative of our nation's progress. Your unwavering dedication to service, coupled with your astute political argument, has commenced the sure-footed process of laying a solid foundation for the growth and development of Nigeria. The steps that you have taken so far are commendable and highly applauded. The party stands by you, and with you we shall walk the path together, no matter the severities of the task or the complexities of the challenges ahead to lead our people to prosperity and our country to greatness. It is indeed my honor and a special privilege from Almighty God to address you today. We give thanks to Allah who has made this day possible. This is the first time I'm addressing the neck of our party after the 2023 victory. I joined the acting national chairman to celebrate today and congratulate all of you. And I take the opportunity to say thank you very much for all the answers. Allow me to equally address and congratulate the Senate President, the Speaker, and the entire National Assembly leadership for the way they have done the jobs today and the promise of the future from them. Thank you, Mr. Senate President, the Deputy, and the Leader. All the elected leaders of our party, old or new, they have gone through a process of being elected. I congratulate you too. It's a divine will of God Almighty that we are all here to celebrate our victory. To win both the majority and the out the Senate and out of representation is a gift.
standing before you. It is trophy of your hard work. And a reward for hard work is more work. The party is better and must be nurtured from the world level upward. It is our responsibility to promote unity, stability, and love among ourselves. And we must deliver on our promises. I brought before you the renewed hope to fulfill your dreams and the dreams of our founding fathers. To be sure that Nigeria remains the focal point of our foreign and domestic policy. The old Progressive Congress. I am indeed most humbled by the trust bestowed upon me as the National Chairman and Senator Vladimir Dean Ajibola Shiro as National Secretary to lead MPC towards a brighter future for the betterment of our beloved country. May I also warmly appreciate the leader of our great party, His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tulu, Kwanja, and Jagawa Oburu for his continued support and commitment to the ideals of our great party, the ABC. I would also like to especially acknowledge the contributions of His Excellency, the Vice President. Senator Kashi Shatima, the Senate President, works with Fabio, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tadu Dina Abbas, leadership and focus of the National Assembly, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, members of the National Working Committee of the Party, Party Elders, and members of the caucus. Let me also thank the Progressive Governors Forum and all key stakeholders of our party for their dedication, diligence, and strategic role in the development of our great party. With boundless gratitude for the confidence placed in me by leaders and members of our party, and with an absolute resolve to honor that trust, I humbly accept my appointment as the chairman of our party. I am deeply touched and inspired by the generous words of congratulations and the encouragement I have been receiving and wish to extend my deepest respect and appreciation to all the leaders and members for their strong support. Our main focus will be promoting party unity and defending and increasing the number of executive governors and legislative seats we currently hold. Under my watch, internal democracy will be strictly adhered to with a deliberate policy to engage in wider consultations and making party functional throughout the year. Some important reforms will be carried out in the party in alignment with the current political landscape. This includes one, using higher technology in membership registration into our great party. A situation whereby the current figure we have for the registration is over 41 million. But the results of the last election were able to score 8 
first million. This cannot be complete. The business cannot be as usual. We must have a scientific register of our members of our great party. Ensure functional party offices at zonal, state, senatorial, local government, and world levels. And three, establishment of progressive institutes. Educate our members as the leaders of our party on internal democracy, election management. conflict resolution and articulating apparent ideology for our great party. <laughs> we all agree that we must unite our members to achieve support for our governments to respond adequately, urgently, and assertively to the challenges that Nigerians confront on a daily basis. The challenges include unemployment, Poverty, insecurity, social cohesion, and the rising cost of living, our party must remain rooted among the people, must demonstrate a willingness to serve and make sacrifices, and must be willing to acknowledge and address our weaknesses. We'll ensure a level playing field for all party members that want to contest elections under the party's platform. Our primary elections will be free, transparent, and fair. Let me also use this opportunity to call on all members of our party and all the people of the state, the most state, and the state to close ranks and ensure that the ABC wins the forthcoming ownership election. As we move forward, let me assure you that as national chairman, I will be with integrity, transparency, and a deep sense of responsibility. Let us work carelessly together to build the bridges of understanding and chart a course for a cohesive APC and for a united, peaceful, and prosperous Nigeria. The road ahead will be challenging but with your unwavering support and dedication, I am confident that we can achieve greatness. One of the early tasks for the administration of Abdullah Ganduje as chairman of the All Progressives Congress was to settle the political crisis in Ondo State and reconcile all interest groups. A committee headed by the former governor of Kasina State Aminu Belo Masari, was saddled with this task. The APC was able to prevail on all the aggrieved factions to sheath their swords and hold off. Previously, since the advent of this democracy in 1979, we have documented a number of disagreements between principal governors and their deputies, and leading to impeachment, leading to resignation leading to having a very, very uncomplimentary uncomplement relationship. But currently, the issue of Endo State, APC, as a political party, as an institution, we are interested to see that we have a peaceful coexistence and a good working relationship between the governor of Ondo State and the I promise that to give you the best return and the best interest of our party, the APC, to come up with recommendations that will solve the problem of Ondo State and also That will help the party 
in addressing issues of conflict or disagreement between the principal and the deputy. The first major litmus test for Abdullah Ganduje was the conduct of the off-season elections in Kogi, Bayausa and Imo State. This was also the first popularity test for the APC after a successful outing in the 2023 general election. In Imo State, the incumbent governor, who is the chairman of the Progressives Governors Forum, won his re-election with a very wide margin in all local government areas of the state. But the victory was not secured on a platter. It took days and nights of campaigns and outreach by the APC under the leadership of Abdullah Ganduje. For Kogi State, the APC, which is the government in power, secured victory again in another wide margin. This was a testament to show that the APC has not lost its political strength. We are going to win overwhelmingly, all of us. The first list must test for the new chairman of the All Progressives Congress are the elections in the three states of Kogi, Bayelsa and Imo. According to the Electoral Act 2022, the Independent National Electoral Commission had fixed 11th of November 2023 for the governorship election in the three states. The task of winning the election in Imo and Kogi state might not be as daunting as that of Bayelsa state, given the fact that the APC in Bayelsa is disgruntled. For Imo State, the recent handshake between the incumbent governor Hopu Zodima and former governor Rucha Zokorucha seems to hint at a reconciliation ahead of the election. <laughs> this meeting of APC governors, which had in attendance the party national chairman and the candidate of the party for Bayelsa State election, Timipre Silva, is to discuss some preparations towards the elections. We had our meeting part of our consultations and also use the opportunity to listen to our national chairman who came to brief us on the activities of the party and the proposed reforms he intend to carry out in the party. So it was just a family discussion. It's part of uh, our discussion, like I told you, was the briefing from the chairman and uh, inclusive is also preparation for the upcoming uh, governorship election in three states. While APC's main opposition seems to be the PDP in the three states, it is unclear how the tide will turn. Abdullah Ganduje has shown his favorable disposition towards giving more women opportunities and responsibilities in the party. The national chairman attended a conference organized by the All Progressives Women Frontliners Forum. The women were only able to achieve just about 4%, very 4% in the elections as it stands now. It is our belief, Your Excellency, that our president will consider, consider us the women more in the appointed positions the men have taken practically the elective position. It is the responsibility of our legislators to see, to study women participation in advanced countries, to study women participation even in some countries where legislation is being used in order to ensure that there is optimum women participation in politics. And that is possible. If there is legislation in each senatorial district, there must be a woman. According to electoral law, every party has to comply with that. And that's all on this episode. Progress Diary will return to your TV screens next week to tell you more about the leadership of Abdullah Ganduje as national chairman. Thank you for watching. I am Habida Lawal.